How's it going out there, everybody? This is Ash Pearson from the band Revocation, and I'm here today at beautiful Drumeo headquarters in Abbotsford, BC, and I'm here to teach you five heavy metal chops that you need to have in your arsenal. All right, so this first one is what I would call a double bass flourish. So you can kind of play that at the end of like a thrash beat or just kind of use it as a substitute for a fill. So instead of playing like fills on the toms or whatever, you can use this, play it on your snare, and you do some really quick double bass, play some, some eighth notes on your crashes while you're doing sixteenths on your feet. It'll sound really cool. I'll play it for you like in context, and then we'll break it down, play it to a click. So in the context with a thrash beat. Okay, we're gonna do this at 100 beats a minute and 200 beats a minute, and you can play it on really any two cymbals. I'm just gonna use the two crashes here, but you can do it on splashes or chinas or whatever you want. So here we go, 100 beats a minute. All right, now we're gonna do it at 200 beats a minute. Sweet. And that, my friends, is exercise number one, double bass drum flourish. All right, so example two is a sextuplet fill. So that's just, every for every quarter note you play six notes. So my kick drum's a quarter note. So that's the note value that you're going for, but we're gonna be do breaking it up. We're gonna be doing right, left, right, left, foot, foot. So you can do it with your right foot only, or you can do it with your double kick. I'm gonna be doing it with my double kick. So I'm gonna be going right, left, right, left, like that, but it's gonna be in the 16th note triplet note value. So it's gonna sound like this. So you can do that as a fill, like again, at the end of a thrash beat or something like that. Um, uh, you can play through it or you can like do a little stop at the end. So I'll play it a couple different ways for you and then we'll slow it down, break it down, play it to a click. Just a kind of cool thing you can do. You can also you can also spread it across different uh, surfaces on the drum set, uh, so you can you know do like a windshield wiper kind of thing. Something like that. So just feel free to experiment. You know, hit some splashes or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna play it at uh, 70 beats a minute and 140 beats a minute. So we're going for. So I'm gonna just play it along with the toms. Hundred and forty beats a minute. Okay, so this third exercise, we're gonna be doing 16th notes on the hands, eighth notes on the feet, and then we're gonna switch it right in the middle of the exercise, and we're gonna, we're gonna switch. We're gonna do eighth notes on the hands, 16th notes on the feet. So this is kinda like a, it's good for your blast beats, but it's also good just for, it's a really good note value exercise between you know, your hands and your feet. I first saw Thomas Lang do something like this, and I thought this would be a really good thing to show you guys today. So we're gonna do it at 200 beats a minute now. All 
All right, so exercise number four is a blast beat note value exercise. So we got what we call a hammer blast where the hands are playing together in unison like so. Very, very cannibal corpse uh, style. Uh, shout out to my good friend, uh, Paul Mazurkowitz. Love your drumming. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that, that will be happening the whole time on the hands, unison. So we're gonna be playing left, right, left, right on the kick to match that, like so. And then we're gonna be playing twice as many notes on the feet. Uh, so that's gonna sound like this. If you break that down, you take away the left foot, it's the right foot is just playing with the hands. Like that. So, without further ado, let's try this beat at 120 beats a minute and 180 beats a minute. Eighty beats a minute. Okay, so this fifth example here, we're going to be doing a three over four polyrhythm, which is going to sound like this. So we got the right hand playing quarter notes. And the note values we're working with is 16th. So every third 16th note, we're gonna be hitting a snare drum. So it's gonna sound like this. The right hand is going. Like so. Put them together, you got this. All right, so we're gonna be playing two different examples. We're gonna be doing one that has just, it's a, a snare a single bass drum combination, which will sound like this. With the hand. And then we're gonna be doing the same thing with the hands, except we're gonna be doing double bass underneath. It'll sound like this. So we're gonna do 5A and 5B to a click. We're gonna do it at 80 beats a minute and then 120 beats a minute. Here we go. Right now, 120 beats a minute. All right, so there's five heavy metal chops that you can take onto the drum set. Try it slow, work your way up on speed, and then you'll be wowing your friends in no time. All right. Ash Pearson signing off, take care.